y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is packed full of so much motivation. I really don't even know what I'm going to call this video. I just had a to-do list that I wanted to check off just some things I needed to get done big and small. A couple of the things on my list are pretty large so that's what today's video is. I had stuff both inside and outside to get done. It took me about two days to get all this completed. So I'm tackling my to-do list and I also have two fast and easy dinner ideas I'll share throughout the video. We have a Timu haul, a grocery haul. I'm gonna get the house pressure washed. There's so much in today's video. First things first, I'm out here at my shed and this needs some serious organization. We don't have a garage or anything, so this is where I store basically anything that you would keep in a garage. I keep my tools out here. We keep the kids' bikes, uh, some of their toys that I rotate out for uh, toy rotation and they also have a ton of nerf guns that we keep out here as well and i also have some stuff in totes that i brought from my mom's house that needs to be gone through i just threw them in the shed and said i would deal with it later and later has come it's time to deal with it because I can't even walk in the shed right now. So at first I'm gonna shuffle everything from the right side of the shed to the left because I have a new deck box I'm gonna be putting together. And this was so helpful. I was able to put so much stuff inside and up off of my shed floor. So I wanted to get that put together and then I'll be able to clear some of this up. So the deck box that I went with is the 230 gallon by Patio Well. My shed is also from Patio Well. If you guys remember, we put that together back in September and I have loved it because like I said, we don't have a garage or anything. So this has been a really nice solution for that. And I'm so honored to be able to work with Patio Well again on today's video. I'll be hooking y'all up with a discount, so stay tuned. But this deck box was so easy to put together. I did it in under 30 minutes by myself. There's not a lot of tools required, which is awesome. This deck box can hold so much. The weight limit is 330 pounds. It can be used for outdoor cushions, tools, um, swimming pool storage. If you have a swimming pool and you need somewhere to keep your floats, you name it. But it can be used for a mix of both indoor storage or outdoor. I'm going to be using mine for a mix of our beach stuff and the kids' Nerf guns because the boys, they have so many Nerf guns, you guys. And so this was a really nice storage solution for that. And also some of Kane's dinosaurs that I rotate out with our toy rotation. I keep those out here in the shed. So I decided to store those in the deck box as well. And it's also waterproof, so it can be kept out in the open. And I love how smoothly it opens and closes. And there is a place for a lock, but I'm not gonna bother since I keep my shed locked. So if you guys are interested in patio well, like I said, they have metal sheds. They also do plastic sheds and the deck box like you're seeing today. Their shed sizes go from 10 by eight, 10 by 10, or the 10 by 12. I believe mine is the 10 by 12. Sizes go for both the metal sheds and the plastic sheds. So if you guys are interested in anything from Patio Well, my code at Kelly16 will save you 16% off for all of their products. So again, a big thank you to Patio Well for working with me on today's video. I will have this deck box and Patio Well's website linked down below. And also just to let you guys know that if you place an order through my coupon, all of the Patio Well products will come with a lifetime warranty. Over to the left side of the deck box here, I'm putting all of my, I call this my project wood. I got it on sale a while back at Lowe's sometime last year, maybe the year before. And I'm hanging on to that because I know I can use it eventually. And I'm also going to keep the dog kennels out here. We really don't ever use those, but I hate to get rid of them because as soon as I do, we'll need them for something. <laughs> so I'm keeping those out here in the shed. And then this box is full of miscellaneous stuff that I brought from my mom's house. I wanted to get that cleaned out. Some of the stuff needed to go back in my house. Some of it I trashed and I'm gonna be throwing the cardboard box in the trash.
over on this side of the shed, I feel like I can utilize this space better. I've got my Christmas tree just thrown up there on one of the shelves. And what I'm gonna do is take everything off of these shelves. And then I'm gonna take that smaller one and stack it on top of the other. I don't have the post that go in these, but it doesn't matter anyways, because if I was to put the post in there, then it would be too tall for the shed. So I'm just gonna set it on top. I'm not gonna be putting anything super heavy, so it's fine. In one toe, I have the kids puddle jumpers and beach toys. And then in the other toe, I have some birthday party things. I think my punch dispenser thing and my balloon pump. I've got my leaf blower. I'm gonna keep that on one of the shelves. And then all of my tools are there on the bottom. And then next to the shelf, I'm just gonna put my Christmas tree. I thought about bringing some of my home decor out here from my closet, but honestly, I'm afraid that if I do that, if the weather or the condensation, I might get to it and then I'll have mold issues. Georgia can be really humid, especially in the summer. So that's why I haven't brought any of my home decor out here, but this shed looks so much better. I can actually walk in here. The kids can come in and get their bicycles. I love the deck box. It really got a lot of stuff off of my shed floor. That little green tote in the corner has all of my trophies from when I was a kid and growing up. I did beauty pageants. There's a couple of sports trophies in there. I was never really big on sports, but there was a couple of times I tried and it just wasn't working for me. So, and I wanted to show you guys the inside of the deck box. I've got a mix of our beach stuff in here, some of Kane's larger dinosaurs, and then all of their Nerf guns. This really made my shed look so much neater and organized. And I love that I have so much room left over to put more stuff if I need to, but I'm gonna go ahead and lock the shed back up and we are going to head inside. It was time to make some dinner. So I'm gonna make some really easy chicken and dumplings tonight. This is one of my go-to meals when I really don't have plans for anything else. I will be meal planning a little bit later in today's video and getting some groceries, but we were out of almost everything and I had no kind of dinner plans. So this is always something quick and easy that I can throw together that my kids love. So my chicken was still partially frozen. So I'm gonna get that into a pot of water. I'm gonna sprinkle in some chicken bouillon and I'm just gonna let that boil on a medium low heat until the chicken's done. And then we'll come back and shred it up. This is kind of random, but I have a Timu haul that I wanted to share. I got myself a few new pieces of clothing. So I figured I would share a little haul with you guys. So personally, I like to shop on Timu. You can find stuff for really great prices versus what you would find it on Amazon. This portion of the video is not sponsored. This is stuff that I bought with my own money and I just really like to shop on Timu. There are some things that are hit or miss, I've noticed, but for the most part, you can get some really good stuff on Timu and most of it is pretty good, I feel like. so. We're gonna do a little haul. Charlie's gonna be joining us, I suppose. So you're gonna hear my kids in the background because I mean, that's just mom life for you. But I'll go ahead and share these little greenery stems I got. I got two of these. And I'm thinking these will look really good in my bathroom when I get to that. So like I said, I got two of those. This one's just still wrapped, but I wanted to unwrap this one so you guys could see. I did get this cream colored pullover. It's got a little black zipper here in the front. I really wanted a pullover in my closet because there's sometimes when I'm just lazy and I don't feel like picking out a top to put on or if I'm running out the door really quickly and I don't want to have to think about, you know, a top, then I can just throw this pullover on. So I did get myself a few more of these little crop tanks for the summer. I got some last year and I wore the heck out of them. I wore them a lot when we were working on the house and some of them have gotten holes. They've got paint on them. So I wanted to get some more and these are pretty similar. They are just a little bit different. Let me get a different color so you guys can see better, but um, it came in a pack of four. So you get the pink, the blue, and then black and gray. The ones that I got last year are like a racerback style. So these are not like that. They're just straight across all the way around, which I really like because with my other ones, I had to think about my bra and putting on the little bra clip or whatever that pulls your bra. These are a lot more stretchy too. And they're also ribbed. 
So like I said, there's a pink, a blue, a black, and a gray. I also I got myself a pair of flare uh, legging pants. I have not owned a pair of flare pants in I don't know how long. Probably middle school, high school was the last time that I wore flare pants. It was the thing back then. Everybody had flare pants and they went away for a while, but now they're back and I own zero. So I wanted to get myself some, but they're just basic black leggings that are flared at the bottom. Before I forget, I'm gonna show you what I have on because this is also part of my Timu haul. So I have this Mama T already in like a beige color. I'm sure you guys have probably seen me wear it because I wear it a lot. It's really comfy. It's stretchy and the one that I have is really starting to show its age. It is starting to look worn out and so I decided to get another one. This time I decided just to get this green one. I think it's super pretty and then I also got these jegging pants. Hey Charlie. So I'm not one to wear jeans. I do try and there's some days I pull it off but I get so tired of wearing leggings all the time i get bored with it and sometimes i just want to put on a pair of jeans but i also want to be comfy so i did get these stretchy jeggings they have drawstrings in the front they're just stressed across the front of the legs the back just looks like this and i don't know i think they're just super cute and they're also comfy i wore them today when i was cleaning out the shed and they were actually really comfortable to wear also got this dressier tank sequined all over front and back it is two layers so you've got the sequin layer which is see-through and then you've got this silky layer underneath like a liner and i was thinking with this i have a black blazer that i think would look really nice thrown over this and i also have a pair of black jeggings so that would look really nice together so just a dressy top that i can add to my wardrobe i did also get myself a new bathing suit this year my body fluctuates like crazy i gain weight i lose weight and so i just really needed a new swimsuit for this summer but the top is a black and white stripe i love the crisscross detail it does have the little keyhole opening in the front it's connected on the side so it's all one piece and then the bottom half is this pretty blue color so got pretty good decent coverage i can be really self-conscious in bathing suits so i like to get ones that are high-waisted and have pretty good coverage so get a few sweaters i know we're about to move into some warmer weather but in my defense i've had these in my cart forever and i really just wanted to go ahead and order them because i've been eyeing them usually that's the way i do on timu i'll add something to my cart and i'll say okay i'm gonna let that sit there for a couple of weeks and maybe even longer than that i've let stuff sit in my cart for six months or more and i'll go back later and there's a lot of stuff that i'm like what was i thinking and i'll take it out of my cart but if i still feel the same that I did when I added it to my cart, then I'll go ahead and order it. So that's always a good little rule to go by. If you are adding stuff to your cart, let it sit there for a couple of weeks or maybe months and see if you still feel the same way as you did when you added it to your cart. That's one way to tell if you truly like something or not. I've deleted so much stuff out of my cart doing it that way. But anyways, I got this. Okay, let me just say that I ordered quite a few things that said mama on the front and I didn't realize it. This oversized white sweatshirt, I didn't mean to get one quite this big, although I'm not complaining because I love a good oversized sweatshirt. Um, I ordered this t-shirt an extra large and it fits perfect. However, this sweatshirt is also an extra large, but it's a little bit big. So I don't really mind that though. I can, you know, wear it around the house when I'm just having a cozy editing day or just, you know, lounging. So I got that and then I also got this pretty green one. This one's a lot thinner. So I got that to, you know, just wear around the house when I'm cleaning or doing whatever. This sweater y'all have had in my cart forever. I don't even know how long I've had it in my cart, but I love it. It's like a white knit sweater. It's got some fringe detail around the neck, the bottom, and also the sleeves. It is a little bit see-through, so I'll probably need to wear like a tank or something underneath. But I just think it's a really pretty sweater, so I went ahead and got it. We are going back to Savannah this year 
for their big St. Patrick's event. They have it all weekend. It's a lot of fun. So we usually go with my sister and her husband and it's just a blast. So I got this t-shirt to wear on one of the days that we're going to be down there. So it is really stretchy, which I love. And then on the front, it says lucky vibes. So I'm thinking I'm going to get some white sneakers to wear with this, maybe a cute little black skirt. And I also got these earrings. Let me take these out of the package so you guys can see, but they're just little four leaf clover studs. So just a cute little accessory to wear with my t-shirt, but that is going to be all for this haul. All right guys, back to the chicken and dumplings. I'm transferring my chicken over to a mixing bowl and I like to use my hand mixer to shred my chicken. It just works a lot faster and you don't have to sit there and wear your hands out trying to shred the chicken up. So preferably I would like to use chicken thighs for this, but all I had was chicken breast. So just use whatever you have. I'm going to put that chicken back into the pot and we're going to throw in a can of cream of chicken. This is the larger size. Sometimes I'll also throw in some cream of celery if I have that. These are my favorite dumplings. It's the Mary B's dumplings. You can find them in the frozen section. I get mine from Walmart. Then I just tear them into about two to three inch pieces and I'll let those simmer until they are cooked through and the chicken and dumplings are done. Like I said, this is always a win meal for me. If I don't have anything planned, this is something that I know my kids are gonna eat and it's really fast to throw together once the chicken is done. And it's even faster if you wanted to grab a rotisserie chicken from the grocery store. So right here, I'm just sharing some everyday cleaning motivation with you guys. I needed to get the kitchen cleaned up after dinner. I had not unloaded my dishwasher yet for the day, so I needed to get that done so I could put the dirty dishes in. And once I have this done, I'm going to sit down and make a meal plan because like I said, we are out of most all of our groceries and I really needed to meal plan before I ordered groceries. So I'm going to get this kitchen cleaned up and then we'll get started on that. How I like to meal plan is 
Normally, I will see what we have in our fridge and freezer, the pantry, and I'll try to use up those items with our meals. But I was really starting from the bottom here. So I'm on Pinterest and I'm just looking up some dinner ideas to do this week. So what I'll do is I'll type in easy dinner ideas in the Pinterest search bar and all kinds of recipes will pop up. But like tonight, I looked up meal plans on Pinterest instead of easy dinner ideas. I just looked up some meal plans and I pulled some ideas from that. So I came up with four meals. I usually like to do about four meals for our weeknight dinners. And that's usually enough for us because we do have a night or two where we have leftovers. And I'll just go into my Walmart app, put in the groceries that I need. And the dinners are the only thing that I really meal plan for. We keep lunch and breakfast really simple. And I just keep staples on hand for those two meals. But the dinners, I for sure have to have some kind of plan in place. So I've got a little grocery haul I wanted to include in today's video. I sat down last night and made a meal plan for us, so I'll share that with you guys. But first, we're gonna get into the haul. So I got some more Sam's Cola Zeros. We got some sliced cheese. We needed some more eggs. We've been going through eggs like crazy lately. I normally like to get the regular Greek vanilla yogurt, but they had to substitute with the light. We got some orange juice fruit punch, went ahead and got the kids some more apples. We got a couple of different things of lettuce here. One night we're gonna be doing tacos and I can't remember what the other lettuce was for, but I got some shredded and then romaine. Got some corn on the cob, some more strawberries. Back here in the back, I got a couple of frozen pizzas. We got uh, meat lovers, that's my favorite. And then I also got a cheese pizza. That'll just be something quick I can throw in the oven on a busy night when I don't really have anything else planned. We got some chicken nuggets, some frozen fries, some ground beef. I got two things of that. And then on the bottom, I got some ribs. I'm gonna throw these in the crock pot with some barbecue sauce, so we'll have that one night. I got a couple things of cookies this week. Some bunny ones because Easter's coming up. And then I also got some chocolate chip. Kai's favorite cookie is a chocolate chip cookie, so. I made sure to get that for him. Uh, one night I'm gonna do a meatloaf. So I got some fresh green beans. I'll roast those up in the oven. And then I hear so many good things about this Bob Evans brand of mashed potatoes. I went ahead and got two, so that would be enough for us. I am struggling to make homemade mashed potatoes, but hopefully I will get that down soon. Coming back here, we got some sour cream. We're gonna be doing nachos tonight and we will also be having tacos later in the week. So I got us some sour cream, got some queso dip for our nachos and salsa con queso. Got some taco seasoning. I went ahead and got the big thing so it would last me a while. Got some breadcrumbs for the meatloaf. I needed some more coffee creamer, so we got some more of that. Got some whole kernel corn. This on the bottom is black beans. Probably gonna put some of that on our nachos tonight. We got some vinegar, I believe that is for one of the recipes. I got some brats and hot dog buns, so we'll have those one night with some fries. Got some sandwich meat, a couple of limes for our tacos and our nachos, um, aroma tomato. I'm the only one that eats tomatoes, so I just got one. We got a cucumber, bananas. I got the kids some more cereal. This is something different. I thought they would enjoy those this week. We got some nacho cheese Doritos, and then some on the border, just regular plain tortilla chips. So we'll have those tonight with our nachos. Over here for non-food, I got a couple things of toilet bowl cleaner. I wanted to get the clean gel this time. It just works better in my opinion. We got some light bulbs. Also a mesh laundry bag because last week I had to have my washing machine fixed. One of Ray's little socks got hung up in the motor. And so I'm gonna start washing the socks in a mesh bag. I used to do that a long time ago and I can't remember why I quit, <laughs> but I definitely need to start again. He, the guy that came out and fixed it, he said that if you're ever washing little socks like that to always do it on a small or a medium load because when you wash it on a large load, they can fly over the drum and get hung up in your motor which I'm sure is what happened. <laughs> so anyways, we got it fixed and I'm gonna start doing the socks in that. We got some little gel stamps for the toilet. 
that makes it smell good. We've got some laundry detergent, laundry sanitizer, and then lastly, I got another one of these little flowers. I got some of these recently and they're really making my house smell good. I also got the cranberry mandarin scents. Couldn't wait to get this plugged in. I get so excited over new scents. These really do make my house smell so good. I'm really liking them. We're now on day two of checking off my to-do list. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer my meal plan from my little notepad to my dry erase sleeve that I keep by the pantry. This is a sleeve that I got from, I think I got it from the Dollar Tree actually. And then I printed off a meal plan sheet from Pinterest. You can find all kind of free printables on there and I keep this next to my pantry. If you guys want to take a screenshot of my meal plan, here it is. I'm getting some everyday clean and done first. I needed to get my laundry folded and my big task for today is to pressure wash the back side of the house. It really, really needs to be done. And recently Walmart had a pressure washer marked down on clearance. So I went ahead and grabbed it because I knew that I wanted to do this. So I'll be getting that done here in a little bit. And plus Adrian was off work today. So he was able to come help me. Now that I know how to use the pressure washer, it's really simple, but it was gonna be my first time ever using a pressure washer. So I really wanted him to come and help me, but we got it figured out. It was really easy and it did a really good job on the house. I'm honestly embarrassed to even show you the before of the house because the back side of the house is where we have trees and all of that green stuff that collects from the trees has been built up for years and so it's really bad the important thing is is that we got it cleaned up and it looks like a brand new house back there now so i'm gonna finish up this laundry i'm gonna get it put away and then i'm gonna head into my bathroom and just tidy up really quickly in here just clear off my counter give it a quick wipe and pick up everything off the floor. It was starting to get out of hand, so I wanted to just do a quick little tidy in here. And then we will head outside to start pressure washing. only going to be doing the back side of the house today this was the worst the sides and the front I guess they could use it but they weren't near like this this side of the house is where we have all of the trees there's a lot of built-up grime on this back side of the house there's a lot of work that I want to do back here I eventually would like to put a deck I have to first get some new steps we can't really use I mean we do use the steps but they're not the best so I do need to replace those um, but right now I'm just soaking the house down in the cleaner I'm gonna spray it down let it soak and then I'll go back with the pressure nozzle and get it all cleaned up also the eave of the house it's really bad as well and I did try to clean that but I have shingles on my roof right now I am gonna be getting a new roof very soon like in the next couple of months is what I'm planning on and it's gonna be 10, but right now I have shingles and I noticed when I was spraying up there, it was kind of wanting to spray my shingles a little bit and I was worried that it was gonna spray my shingles off. So I'm not gonna worry about that eve today, but I will eventually get that cleaned up. And if I can't get it clean, then I'll just paint it. So um, this was so satisfying. Just watching all of that grime come off, I was so amazed 
with the before and after because it truly looked like a brand new mobile home. And like I said, it's really embarrassing to show you guys this stuff, but this is real life. Like this, this is what happens. And I've never owned a pressure washer before. Even when I lived here before, we did not own a pressure washer. I don't remember it being this bad, but it has definitely built up over the years. And my long-term plan is to have a deck back here. I would love to be able to walk out the glass sliding doors and onto a deck, but that'll have to be something that comes with time. Right now, the next major thing that's going to be happening is the roof and then also my baseboards inside the house. I know a lot of you have asked about my baseboards and when those are going to happen. Trust me, I'm ready to, but it does take time and money fixing up a house. So that's the next two things that's going to be happening. You'll notice that one of the guardrails here on these steps is broken. It's just laid over to the side, but honestly, I'm not even worried about trying to fix that because these are going to be going in the trash anyways. So I'm just leaving that like it is until I can get some new steps. By the way, I apologize for all of the movement right here. I didn't realize that the cord was up against my tripod. So every time I was moving the cord, it was moving my camera. So sorry about that, but I got a little bit further down here and I had to have Adrian take over because my back was starting to kill me. I had epidurals with all three of my babies and it has definitely taken a toll on my back. It's always that one place where they put the needle in that always bothers me. So I had to let him take over. It really didn't take us long to do this and I was so happy to finally have it done, but we are gonna finish up out here and then it'll be time to make some dinner. So I decided to film our dinner on this night as well. We're gonna be doing some pork nachos. I had some leftover pork that I needed to use. It wasn't gonna be enough to make sandwiches with, so I decided to do some nachos. I have felt awful about not being able to upload on my cooking channel, so I wanted to squeeze in a little bit of extra cooking here in today's video. My dog is snoring if you hear her in the background of this voiceover, but moving on to our nachos, I'm going to line my bacon sheet with some foil. I'm going to spread some tortilla chips out and I've got some leftover shredded pork. This has actually been in my freezer and it really needed to be used. So I'm putting that on top with some barbecue sauce. I'm also going to take some of the queso cheese, drizzle that on top. I've got some shredded cheddar I'm going to sprinkle on top. And on one half of the nachos, I'm gonna do black beans and corn. I decided to do the black beans and corn last. So 
That way I would be able to tell which side had the black beans in the corn and because I know the kids are not going to eat those. So I did it that way, but these are going to bake in the oven on 350 for, I don't know, about 10, 15 minutes or so just until all that cheese is melted. I love doing nachos as an easy weeknight meal, especially if you need something quick to throw together or if you have leftovers. They're so versatile. You can put anything that you want on your nachos. Any kind of meat that you have left over that you need to make stretch, nachos is a great way to do that. So over in a little bowl here, I actually learned to do this from Hello Fresh, and I do this a lot now, but you take some sour cream, some lime juice, a little bit of water, and mix it up to where it's like a drizzle consistency, and this will go on top of our nachos when I serve them up. But that is going to be all for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to leave your butterfly emoji down in the comments. And also if you want to check out Patio Well, I will have that link down below. And remember to use the code Kelly16 and that will save you 16% off anything from Patio Well. But I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.